Hi guys, Irbaz Khan is here, and welcome back to Monster Killer 00K. In today's video, I'll show you how to install Reshade in GTA 5 Enhanced NVE. In this video, I'm using my paid Reshade preset V8. If you don't want to buy my preset, no worries. You can use any free preset instead. To purchase my preset, you have to click on Join to unlock, then add details, and you are done. I've made a lot of tiers to choose from. If you want paid help, then you can purchase the crown tier for complete modding. I'll do the complete modding for you via any desk or team viewer. To follow this tutorial, you have to install Natural Vision Enhanced first. The tutorial link can be found in the description and on the card on the top right. You will need a password to extract all my paid presets, and you can find all the passwords in the pinned post on my Patreon. Let's install the reshade setup. Browse your GTA 5 Enhanced folder and select GTA 5 Enhanced.x. Now hit Next, then select Microsoft Direct X 10 11 12. Then hit Next. Now, on the top right, there's an Uncheck All button. Just click on it. Then click on the Check All button. Then hit Next. Now it's downloading all the shaders. Just wait a little bit. Then click on Finish. Let's open the Reshade Presets folder. Always read the README file to learn how to do it or what to do or you will end up saying it's not working or not getting the same results. Now, open the You Need to Know This folder, then you will understand why I made it. If you skip this part, you may not get the same results. So, please open each folder inside the You Need to Know This folder. Now, go to the Reshade Presets folder and copy the Reshade preset into your game directory. If you are using Natural Vision Enhanced, then delete the dxgi.dll file from your directory. Don't delete anything if your GTA 5 Enhanced has no mods. Now run the game. Let me fast forward it. As you can see at the top, the reshade is working. Press the insert key on your keyboard to open the menu. Hello? Oh, thanks for calling. Now open the reshade menu and load the V8 preset. I thought I'd have another opportunity to present my proposal. But I have a phenomenal presentation package. But... Now go to settings and change the overlay key to something else. Also, set an effect toggle key so you can easily turn on and off reshade effects. If you want more FPS, turn off the Radian GI to get more FPS. At some spots like here, you'll notice that it's too bright, then turn off piecewise filmic tone map. But make sure you turn it on at night. It looks good at night. The tutorial link for these super bikes can be found in the description.
for cinematic blur screenshots, you can turn on the Adolf effect. Thank you very much for watching, and special thanks to my patron supporters.